what's up guys it's time to make an end to block 5 or reactor engineering chapter 5 uh, I'm very happy to tell you that you are officially done with it and you know by now how or more information about the rate law topics what's a rate law essentially something that relates concentration with a rate law or rate of reaction you know by now that the best or one of the very more most important method is the excess method not only because it will help you to use the other methods but because it helps you to separate more than one uh, reaction so you can use this as excess and you use it constant and then you use this excess and you get this constant and you will solve it so after this chapter you are now able to propose zero first second order reactions at least you may try other orders or even like mirror equations whatever you want and in theory you should be able to postulate if they are first zero or second order you know that the batch reactor rate data is useful for this also if you have batch, batch uh, data and you don't know if you can apply it to CSTR well you can do it it's pretty cool because you can do the experiments in a batch reactor and then you let's say a small beaker and you don't need to make a continuous process whatsoever you can do it in a batch reactor and then go from lab to the factory or to the chemical plant so that's cool and you know how to use these methods differential methods that need also graphical or numerical or polynomial fit methods and half lives initial rate method integral method so these are the methods we use for the batch reactor but what happens when we have a PBR uh, essentially we need to apply the differential reactor which is a small reactor actually very small that the conversion of A is very small so you can get it constant and you will get a very simple equation that will be useful and yeah, essentially it's everything guys it's not that a uh, huge ordeal this chapter it helps you to analyze rate of reactions but the good thing is that you can now go to chapter 6 which is multiple reaction and that's a it's a very very interesting topic because uh, one reaction yeah it's okay it's very common but what happens when you have two reactions well we're going to analyze that and yeah essentially that's everything if you want more problems the book contains uh, 16 problems uh, on the back of the chapter six, uh, 5 sorry. Uh, you also included some extra problems and exercise on my web page if you want to go and throughout the course I was telling you that you may visit this page uh, my web page you can go to courses get the reactor engineering part and solve problems or go to the solve problem section this is chapter 5 if you want to check out some problems I will try to upload this one as SEP and yeah essentially we're done if you need extra information just don't worry contact me either at this mail or at my Facebook page I upload many stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be about chemical engineering I upload many many things if you want to like my where my Facebook page it would be nice some reference sorry this is the book we're using right now, Scott Fogler's book, Elements of Chemical Reaction Engineering. Uh, he got also this book, Essentials of Chemical Reaction Engineering. I read it a little bit, it's cool, it's useful. And I've heard a lot of students that tell me that this is also a book they use. Um, I haven't seen it before, but I think it's okay. And finally, but not least, the, bibli the bibliography I've been using is Chapter 5 and yeah essentially fourth edition by Scott Fogler so please go and buy it it's totally worth and I love it because it explains everything and it's very very nice so that was the conclusion of chapter number five see you in multiple reactions chapter number What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. 
also sharing is caring so if you got any kind of friends teachers colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content why not share it sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content if you want to keep track of my activity videos uploads experiments playlists whatever content i'm getting on youtube be sure to click the subscribe button subscribing to the channel is totally free guys My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.